Hey, hey, hey! Today we're taking a look at the O'Neill Creations. This is the Assault Frigate Mark I Class 6, I think is what he's calling it. This comes in a couple different varieties and uh, it comes pre supported or uh, uns unsupported. And I think for this one, you should try and support it yourself for a lot of the uh, parts. And I'll show you why in a little bit, but we're gonna build it real quick and then we'll talk about it. The Assault Frigate Mark I is based on the uh, shoot. Uh, the Assault Frigate Mark I is based on the uh, Dreadnought and is a Legends creation. Uh, the assembly of it is actually super smart. Um, the way that he's got it in four pieces makes it easy to get all the details out of your pieces and not have to worry about things like, you know, drainage holes and stuff like that. As you can see, this side is hollow, this side is hollow, and it uh, doesn't have the engine on it. And assembling it is pretty simple. You just go in and slide it in. Um, on I printed three of these, and on two of them, they were tight enough to hold uh, the fit without doing anything extra and then on one of them was a little loose and I don't think that's a problem at all Right here. We've got our Armada key for his uh, Models the pre-supported ones. I don't think the Armada key is very well supported. So supporting that yourself is super easy and uh, I'm you don't have to worry about it Just flip it 90 degrees where the front of the key is pointed up and you're fine. One thing that I don't think I like the supports on is the contact, de contact depth on his supports are kind of deep. So they leave some pretty nasty, groovy things. On this model, it doesn't really matter all that much. Um, but on, for instance, the next video that we're going to be doing, we're going to go over his Mercy class station. I think that one is worth uh, supporting uh, on your own. So we're going to put a little glue on here. I just opened this brand new precise Gorilla Glue and it is messing up all over the place. Okay, so this does have a subtle uh, wider shape towards the top. So we're going to pop this guy in here. We're going to hold it for a little bit. One thing on uh, some of the models I think uh, like uh, some of the other ships that we've assembled, uh, I do need to print these again. And what needs to happen is this back tail needs to get supported more. Because on one of the models that we printed, it didn't do all that well. And while some came out and others didn't, that's really just an indication that, you know, your individual printer is going to have specific uh, tensions and stuff like that with your FEP that cause different results for... Um, pre-supported models. All in all though, you have to say just like his Dreadnought, which doesn't really have any assembly uh, required for it, this ship is absolutely gorgeous, super well detailed. This is on par with what you would accept uh, what you would accept from a retail Star Wars Armada model and it's just it's gorgeous. It's lovely. He does such a good job on it and I'm I'm really glad that I get to uh, showcase this here. Uh, our next video will be the Mercy Class Station. We're doing the Class B Mercy Class Station. Uh, and uh, I'll see you guys there. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.